Hi everybody and welcome back. So today I'm going to share with you a little mini haul that I just got back from the mall from. It is actually New Year's Day here in Malaysia and Esme and I have been cooped up indoors for the past couple of days and so I was like, that's it, we're getting out. So I got a couple of things for Esme and a couple of things for the baby and one little thing for myself. So I'm just going to share with you what I got. So I'm going to start with MPH. So MPH is a bookstore here in Malaysia. I don't know if these are worldwide or what. Forgive my ignorance. My husband and I were chatting and we have just read every single book that Esme owns like a hundred times. And so we decided that Esme needed some new books. Also, we needed some new books to read. The first one I got is this one. It's called Now I Am Big by Stephen Kerensky. And we have another one like this. If you watched my what I packed in my carry-on bag for my big trip that I took with Esme, then you'll see there's another book with this style. I can't remember what it's called right now. Or I Do It Myself or I Can Do It Myself. But she really liked it and she can actually kind of read it herself because we've read it so many times and she remembers the pages and so I think this will be another hit. This one I was actually really excited to find. It's called This Is Not My Hat by John Klassen. And we have another book by him called I Want My Hat Back and it cracks me and my husband up every time we read it. You have to check it out if you haven't heard of John Klassen. He's a Canadian author, if I'm not mistaken, uh, living and working in the US. But the books are just so clever and so funny and obviously that's kind of of lost on Esme a little bit but we get a kick out of it and it is a, it is a child's book so super fun we have a bunch from this collection and this is just a really simple basic peekaboo type flap book and this one is called peekaboo tickle we have peekaboo I love you and peekaboo something else bedtime or good night or something like that and again it's just one of those books that Esme as, as we read it and as we have read it over and over and over she can start to kind of read it to herself so definitely a hit for her this is Blue Chameleon and it's written by, who is it written by? Emily Gravitt. I don't know much about this book, but I had been doing some online searches for books. There's like this book uh, reservoir website, I don't know, they ship depository, I don't remember what it's called. But there's this really good website that actually ships to Malaysia, I think it might even be free. But sometimes I like to go and actually like see the books. And so this was one of them on that website. I haven't read it yet, so I'll let you know how it goes, but you know, just another one to add to the collection. I was pretty excited when I saw this one because Esme loves animals like I'm sure a lot of toddlers do and this one's called my first book of baby animals and the great thing about it is that it's actually hard pages like those cardboard pages it goes through it being like a pig and what is a baby pig and it lists things about it and it's you know just really nice drawings and things and I think Esme is really going to enjoy this one and the last book I picked up was this and it's called the busy book for girls they had one for boys I don't know why they make these things for boys and for girls. One was pink, one was more blue, whatever. So we grabbed the pink one, and what is really fun about this is again, it's a hardcover book, but it tells you to find things, like there's one castle in here, and where is it? Or there's seven seahorses, and you gotta find the seven seahorses. And she's really getting into these more interactive books, so I thought this would be really fun at the, you know, developmentally where she's at now at two, so um, just like more of an activity type of book that she can read with us. So that's it for our book haul. There is actually one more book and it was quite cute. I was really hesitant to buy it, but it was so cheap. It was on sale. It's in bed with her right now because we read it just before nap time, but it's this special book and it comes with a magic wand. And when you put the magic wand over certain parts of the book, like the pink circle or the yellow circle, it will either make different fairy sounds or there's a little song that comes with it. That one is a big time seller. She is all about magic wands at the moment, so that's with her in bed. Once we were finished at the bookstore, I then hit up Mother Care. And Mother Care is like, I think a pretty big store in the UK and it's also really big in Malaysia. And it's kind of like the go-to baby toddler store in our city. I think so. I hit up that store every time I'm at the mall, pretty much guaranteed. And I didn't go crazy because I didn't want to spend too much money, um, but I did just get a few little things. Baby Boy is totally good for clothes. There was absolutely no reason for me to buy this, except for the fact that it had this sticker on it that says 50% off and I couldn't resist. So this is for the zero to three months and I will show you. It's basically five jumpers, five bodysuits, whatever you want to call them. And you guys know it's summer all the time here. So um, these ones are sleeveless and the color are gray yellow and black and so this one is obviously black stars and it's just sleeveless with the little buttons at the bottom my babies live in these things so I know that these will get a lot of use I used to think I was totally against pacifiers until I had a baby and realized 
Oh my goodness, Pacifier is like the greatest thing on earth. I call them soothers, whatever you want to call them. So I picked up a few, really just neutral looking. I don't like this big, clunky, colorful thing on my baby's face. So I picked up one from Tommy Tippy. This one Esme really loved. Um, this is for the zero to three month range. And it's just a clear um, and white, just very simple little soother. And then the other one is a mother care brand. Esme also really like this one, and it's also just a clear kind of neutral white color um, for zero to three months. A lot of you mamas out there will have heard of the brand Aiden and Inez. Forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, but it is possibly my favorite brand when it comes to swaddling blankets. Oh my word. Yes, they're a little bit pricey, but you know what? You are paying for quality. So I went in there specifically looking for some swaddling blankets. I have already on hand some green and gray ones and white ones that I bought with Esme. I also have a bunch of pink ones, but obviously I'm not going to use those when we go out. So I went in there specifically for a blankie that I could have just for him because he, you know, baby boy deserves some of his own things. And they didn't, normally they sell them like in a pack of four, but they didn't have any ones that weren't pink basically i'm all about like any color but just i'm not gonna put my baby boy in a pink blanket you know so this one is just comes in a bag and it's organic and it's one blanket one swaddle so as you can see the colors are white and like lots of blues and turquoise greens and grays and i'll just show you but i think the whole concept is that it's almost like a pre-washed type of muslin it's really light perfect for this weather and it's huge let me show you it's like a massive blanket. I mean, look at this. Holy smokes, it doesn't even fit in the camera. What I love about these blankets is not only are they amazing when you are like wrapping up your baby, I don't really use them to swaddle them so much, but I use them a lot when I'm nursing and I'm just laying on the sofa because I tend to be like overcome with heat postpartum. I am just a hot, sweaty mess, and so I have a lot of aircon, and I don't want my babies to freeze, so I put this on them. And also, when I'm out in the stroller and we're walking in the mall or we're walking outside or whatever, it's awesome to just put over the stroller, prevents people's nasty little fingers coming in and touching my baby, and I'll get into that subject in another day, but people just love to touch babies' faces here, and it drives me crazy. Like. Don't touch my baby's face. You know, you can touch their toes, but not the face. Like, come on. I don't know where your hands have been. So anyway, I like to drape this over. And it's super lightweight, so they won't, like, you know, it's breathable. It's, it's gorgeous. And it's so soft, and I haven't even washed it yet. Can I say more about how much I love this company? From the same company, um, I was like, like I said, I went in there for kind of multiple swaddle blankets, but I saw these and these were kind of cute. It's called Comfort. And it's again, the same type of muslin, except it has this pretty satin finish to the ends. I actually don't know how big these are because I never bought them before. Oh, that's really cute. So it's just a really cute, small type of little comfort blanket. I'm sure it'd be nice for him to cuddle up with. I could also throw it over my shoulders, a little burp cloth. And come on, look how cute this is. It's like this beautiful teal with gray and teal cars on it. It's super cute and super soft. So those are my purchases, like it comes two in one. So yeah, so that's what I got at Mother Care. And then the last item that I got for myself, it's funny how you become a mom and like you kind of, I don't know, there's times and places where I'm like desperate to buy things for myself and other times, like specifically today, I just, all I want to do is buy from my babies. I'm really in the market for some dry shampoo. So I have replaced my fudge dry shampoo. I had tried a brand that they're selling at Sephora at the minute. I can't remember what it's called, but it's literally like just one kind that they have at Sephora here in Penang. And um, I bought like a little travel one. And when I went to Canada, the bloody thing like emptied. So I don't know what happened there, but I do prefer the scent of this one better. And so being that I am like pregnant and I can smell everything, um, I went with fudge. It has like an apricot scent I think I can't tell you what the smell is but I just I really like it and I do like this brand I use this with their um, sea salt spray and I have their hairspray and I just I really like it so that's what I got for me so that's it that was my little New Year's Day haul I hope you enjoyed it um, I do have a fun month coming up I have a collaboration in the works I've got a product I'm reviewing and I'm actually doing a few giveaways so I'm really excited to share those things with you so if you would like to be part of that be sure to subscribe so you can catch all my videos as they come 
I've also noticed that with some of this, the changes that Google Plus has brought, which by the way, I'm all about change. I'm, I'm a fan of this Google Plus thing. Um, two downsides are that if you aren't a, on Google Plus, then I can't comment back. So if you leave a comment and I haven't responded, most likely that's why. I try to respond to most of the comments on my videos as they come out. And then the other thing is, is that if you want to be notified of my videos, you should actually not only subscribe, but there should be a little button that says to send you an email when I do put out a new video, because I have noticed that occasionally I myself in my own subscriptions, I don't see certain people anymore. And I'm like, what's going on there? So I think it's just some of the changes with Google Plus. So just a suggestion, no pressure or anything. All right, so that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.